All right, so this right here is a okay spawn. As a matter of fact, we are in construction. Right down there is a barrel stash. If you run through this little hut, there's going to be a duffel bag and a jacket. But our main priority on a spawn like this is run straight to check. This right here, this building is called check. At this ambulance, there'll be a dead scav. You most likely won't loot that though. It's just in the wide open. Now we're in front of the check building. You can see the Sparja is right across the street. You're going to go through this hole in the fence, open up this door. In this first room, we're just going to look on the ground in this box. Just look for any loot. You could find ammo and the kind of just like rare stuff on the shelf right there. In this room, in this corner, you could find some rare valuables. You can find lions, pro kills, badges, things like that. Dead scav. Watch out for that door up there because people will wait for you to loot that and then peek out the door and kill you. Just be cautious of that. Door number six. I want to open this up. Check on the shelves. Things like that can spawn on the shelves. Nothing there. You always want to check inside of the suitcase. It's not seeable. You can, you'll never see the loot that's in here, but you can find bitcoins and pro kills and different stims that are expensive, worth tons of money. Jacket there if you wanted to. I like to run over here. Sometimes there's like morphine and like different stim spawns on that couch or there's a juice, things like that. Hop through this little fence right now. Rare loot spawn sitting on that box. Also, there's a spawn right here. Jack Daniels. That wish could be good. It's a dead scav. Computer parts spawn on here. There's one PC on this bed. Is ammo, food. Then there's a rare loot spawn here and a rare loot spawn here. As you can see, not too shabby. Then you want to just basically come inside this room and just check on these shelves. You can find sugar and just random stuff. I couldn't really tell you what the loot spawn is for most of these spots, but if you just came looked on all these shelves and jump up here there is a spawn inside this box as well i find tetris things like that once in a while on this table you find a lot of lcd sugar things of that nature we're gonna go through this door food on the ground just bs stuff just kind of on the ground here there's a medical spawn here medical spawn on the ground here and sometimes maybe on this bench on this bench as well random stuff will spawn there's a duffel bag and then obviously you check the shelf if you want in here there is a jacket nothing too special there you're gonna keep running around following the inside of this building just kind of check once again on this box on the ground anywhere on this little shelf on this table sometimes this window sill open up this door we're gonna go down there's one spawn here one spawn here one spawn here you can find vodka. You can find pretty much a lot of different items down here. Anywhere like on the ground here on these windowsills, you could find just random stuff. I really couldn't tell you what the loot spawns are. Like sometimes it's food, sometimes it's like valuables, you know. So we're gonna get to the top, open these doors. There's gonna be a spawn on the ground here. I'd be pro for that'd be good, you know. There's also another spawn right here. And I find um what's it called? Like vodkas and stuff on the back where I was showing you. I find moonshine on this bench. Three, this is always unlocked. You wanna check inside here. I find like bitcoins and stuff in there. And then anywhere like on this little bed roll. This is called iron gate. These are iron gate keys. You wanna check inside of that little box. And then inside here, there's a stem. And then you wanna check like inside this bed roll again. And then in the bucket pal. Open this one. You're just gonna open up all these. Check inside the bucket, check the bed roll, and behind this bed. One. It's probably the best one there is. There is a spawn inside of there. There's a spawn inside that bucket. One dead scav, one dead scav, and then you find food. And kind of stuff like either on the ground or on this little shelf right here. Then we're going to jump down. As soon as you jump down, there is a rare loot spawn right on this bedroll. Right on the ground and on the couch. I found a lot of sugar, random stuff just chilling. Right there. In this room, milk. 
It's just food. This is random spawns. I couldn't tell you what any of these spawns really are, but basically when you come in here, you're gonna check the bed and you're gonna check this couch and on the ground. And then, well, let's see. We can come over here. So again, I come in here for food. Find food on this couch. You can find food and random stuff on this table. Go hard left on this washing machine. You could find things on the ground here. Just a lot of random stuff as well. And then if you're running and you prone as you're running, you can kind of like get under here quickly. Now this is check 15. This is stair landing key. So this is how people will get out and like check that body. Now check 15 is this room. It's like 5 million ruble key. I don't have it, but you can check what's inside this room before even opening it. So like this room, there's a relay. There's a golden egg. This probably wouldn't be a great room to open up. But I'll show you how to loot the inside. All right, so when you open up the check 15 door, you want to check on this pedestal right here. You want to check for stimulators. Also on this chair is a spawn inside this drawer, anywhere on top of this dresser and anywhere on this couch and on the ground. Check these locations. There's also a spawn right on the bed where this pro kill is. So I think check is worth it. If you like streets, and you run the map a lot, you might as well buy it. Then you would just leave out here. You can jump across this, by the way. People think you can't jump across this. You most certainly can. So you can wait for people to push through here, kill them or whatever. You get a nice little window view outside too. That covers quite a bit of ground. We're going to go out the back entrance here. And we are going to go all the way to Primorsky building. Now looting this building, we're going to this first door. Open up this bad boy. And we're gonna go inside the post office. You can check these shelves, as you can see, sugar. There's a dead scav, duffel bag, and then there's a med spawn there, right there, and right there. On these shelves, if you just go along this, like there's an O-scope chilling right there. There's sugar, so People overlook this, but you just want to check what's on these on these tables here. Inside this box, Bitcoin spawn, you can find quite a bit of items. Inside that box, we're going to open this door, go through here, check on these tables. You could find food, check on these chairs as well. You just find like random stuff showing on these tables. And I'm only showing you valuable loot. I'm not showing you like completely trash loot spawns where you're going to find like just pick up some ammos and things like that even though you can't make a lot of money just picking up ammos people overlook that i'm showing you like the high valuable spawn like how i made 30 million rubles in literally two or three days um right so if you go through this door it's going to be the second door on the left there's going to be these two pigs there's going to be a rare item spawn here rare item spawn right here and then on this side there's going to be a spawn here a spawn here and then a spawn here, the PC. Moving forward, we're gonna open up this door. This is where I make a lot of my money. You wanna check on the ground here, there's a tech spawn. Open this door on the second floor, loot this dead scav. There's gonna be some just random stuff on the ground and on that shelf probably. You wanna check kind of what's on these, on this table, on this bench, hit the duffel bag. Check inside these lockers. You want to check inside these lockers right here as well on this box. Jump over. Sometimes stuff will spawn on that little pedestal. When you run up here, you want to check this spawn right here. I found graphics cards here, and it's a rare item spawn. You find any of those rare valuables. In, into the right here is going to be the best. There's a pro kill right here. I find a lot of Bitcoin right on the floor here, and uh, tea, uh, teapots, lions. Boosters, any gold valuable spawns will be right here, right here on the ground. And then on the table here, you can always check. This room is amazing. This is a stim spawn. I found a lot of stims here. So I'm gonna check inside of this drawer and then underneath this book. And there's a stim spawn on the ground as you see, but on this book, like underneath, I found a lot of badges and you can find Bitcoins and then also inside of that little box. I run across to this side. I just check what's on on this little kitchen counter. If I wanted, you know, I would take that. I would probably 
not take any of that stuff and then inside here you can find some stuff on this bedroll once in a while and typically from there i would dip i would leave go back down and we're gonna jump across here we're gonna go all the way back downstairs and take a right we're gonna hit this building right here i don't know what this is actually called but if you come out this back entrance to the right this is basement descent this right here is basement descent on a scav we're gonna open up this door you have a duffel bag you have a dead scav and in this box you can find stems and some valuables this back room sometimes has some good like loose loot you want to check both sides i can't tell you how many times people will come in here they'll loot this stuff and then they'll just completely miss like a bulbex or like a ratchet that's 80 90k so you want to check both sides then you want to hit this room just check again along this bench over here there's a duffel bag there's a loot spawn on this little triangle corner piece and then i would dip out of hotel we're gonna hit nikita's bar this is where you're gonna try and find whiskey now you can check anywhere on this bar anywhere on this bar there's a milk right there and then you want to check right here nothing really too interesting you're gonna dip you're gonna run across to this yellow building i forget what this is called now when i'm going over here i'm checking for a lanka yellow bars two of those make one sugar those are obviously worth some money now these keys are called finance financial institution small office and financial institution office key now in here you're gonna have a safe you're gonna have a bunch of these if you want to hit these but i hit the safe i may hit the pc and then i bounce i don't know if anything spawns on these i don't think i've ever seen anything spawn on these then we hit the the upstairs hit the left there is a bitcoin spawn on this little underneath the microwave and some there's a spawn over here and i think there's spawn on the ground other than that like you there's really not much in here on the shelf sometimes you find some goodies moving forward this door to the right you're gonna have a duffel bag on the right and then inside like on the middle on these tables will just be there's nothing here which is crazy but you find like kind of trash stuff and then there's a spawn right there opening up this door into the office there is a rare spawn on the ground rare spawn uh, not on the ground but rare spawn on the cabinet on the cabinet bottom of it there's one pc two pc three pc there is a gold chain spawn right here there's a fourth pc fifth pc water and a duffel bag this window is actually really good too for like counting like catching people off guard so we're gonna go down these stairs and we're gonna go find somewhere else to hit and here we are at Concordia. We're gonna open up this door with the number three next to it. We're gonna go up the stairs. On the second floor directly to the left, there's gonna be a dead scab. You can loot him up. And this right here is Con Concordia 64. This key is really underpriced and very, very good. Hopefully you'll get lucky and see all the loot. But here we go. <laughs> there's a gold egg a lion a raven and a rooster and there's also a spawn right here so there's five valuable loot spawns in here there might be more but uh i find bitcoins in here but if you stack up all these two 300k alone just looting these things if you found a bitcoin it's even better and then there's this office key in concordia that you could hit real quick and there is a tech spawn on the ground i find tetrises things like that there's a pc and you want to just basically check anywhere on top of this little desk. Then when I leave, you can check inside this box. And sometimes you can find some food in here if it's late into the game. And you need some food real quick to replenish your energy or your hydration. Here we go back down the stairs. But this time we're going all the way down into the parking garage. And directly to the left, we're going to hit this room. And on the ground here... There's a spawn on here, spawn on here, and a spawn on the ground. Uh, I, I have heard of people getting graphics cards right here, so be careful and watch out for those. And when you're down here, you're going to run to where you see this red light. So let's run, let's run over to this red light. 
And this is going to be Concordia Security Room. I forgot what the key is, but it's... Here it is, Concordia Security Room key. This room is very, once again, underpriced, and you'll definitely make your money back with this key. So as soon as you come in, there's going to be a safe. You want to just check on these boxes for weapon parts. Typically, I get a lot of suppressors and stuff that spawn on this table right here. And then you have two PCs you can loot. On the ground is typically, I find like 60 round mags from M4s, things like that all the time. And then you just want to check for other gun attachments, chilling and sitting on the table there. So this is a very bad room in terms of the loot that it gave me in this raid. But you can get some pretty amazing parts and walk out with more money than you paid for the key. So these are the keys that I have. That's all I ran for the last two, three days. And I've made 20, 30 million rubles in a short period of time. So if you want to make money, start executing your scav on this map. Start running PMCs on this map. I believe in you guys. If you're new, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.